He was right up to start playing with custard. I guess if in the archive you missed it, but these kids just ran and just flopped right over and started batting at custard. And that just happened. Of course, if you're watching live, you just saw it. Uh, we're starting mailbag. It is now uh, approximately 11 o'clock. I'm running just a second late, but everything's right here, so it's going to be real, real easy for me to get started today. Uh, oh, let me make sure the sound's changed. I think I'm talking to myself right now. No, okay, it's changed. Whoever, maybe somebody already changed it, or maybe it already was. I don't know. So that's all set to uh, the uh, the admins that so far manage the cameras. And again, I still plan on, on getting that rolled out so everybody on Discord can do it. But I want to say uh, thanks to, to especially Pat, but uh, everybody that participates in that. It's almost entirely Pat. Um, and uh, just fantastic. I can't tell you uh, how much easier that's made my life. Um, it, it really has been a, a distinct improvement. Uh, it's just in my every day, you know, uh, and that's, that's wonderful. So, uh, so now I think uh, my next goal there should be to take the bird off the bat by getting it rolled out uh, in a more general way that uh, everybody can participate in. Um, but anyway, all right, uh, let me grab the stuff. Just be one second. Tell you what, let's just uh, let's just start with whatever I picked up, and then we'll pick up everything uh, piece at a time. Uh, that way, I can walk back and forth and get up and stretch my legs a little bit during mailbag here too. Now, let's see what we got. Hi, hi! Look how sweet you are. She went to the vet yesterday after mailbag and had a wonderful checkup. No issues at all. Of course, uh, we didn't expect anything. It was pretty much a cursory examination anyhow. You know, they check her heart and her ears and her teeth. She's got a little bit of uh, gingivitis starting, but I haven't seen a cat that doesn't, so not a big deal there. Uh, let's see here now. Let me just check the angles. Eh, not bad. You know, that backlighting makes it a little dark here in front, but I think we can all deal with that. Also, let's change that one camera that's pointed at the tree. Hang on, I got it. Just to point a little more generally into the room should work. And uh, yeah, so uh, any other news besides the fact that she went to the vet yesterday? Mm, no, there's not any other news to, to talk about. That's it. Uh, I will mention, though, that, that she's just, uh, this is Ocean, of course, I'm talking about when I say she right here in my lap. Uh, just such a sweetie, soft, wonderful, snuggly kitty. And uh, since she's done with her, her kitten, she's become a big kitten herself. She plays and zooms and uh, a lot of times upstairs, uh, she'll, she'll see me coming and just turn around and run like she wants me to chase her, you know, in that, that very particular way that cats do. Uh, and she'll just do it back and forth as, as I'm walking around cleaning the house and stuff. It's very cute. Um, and then, of course, uh, I posted a whole bunch of pictures on the Discord, which I should probably put out on our Twitter or something, too, of her sitting in the marshmallow beds, the, the many marshmallow beds around the house now she loves. She loves a big, soft bed. She always has. Uh, there was that, that one, uh, uh, what is it, K&H bed that, that was a giant one that DJ had in the bedroom uh, that went through the wash and got put away. But uh, up until that point, it had been her favorite place to sleep because it's so big and soft. And since that's put away, uh, she's found the marshmallow beds and she'll just sit in those or just sleep in it all night, snuggled up. Uh, just wonderful. So it's just, just, just a soft, luxurious cat um, in every sense. It's wonderful. Okay. Well, uh, anyway, that's enough talking about Ocean. And maybe some of these kittens will come hang out with me. Last night we had uh, Hog and uh, I think it was Hogwash and Flim Flam. Maybe it was Hoodwink. Uh, I don't remember which girl it was, um, but uh, they both came up to the spa and were there all night. And the reason I don't remember is because they didn't hang out with me. They slept on DJ's pillow and snuggled with DJ and purred. And uh, she said they were snuggling with her all night long. And that's a, that's a rare treat for her. So that was pretty special, I think. Um, I've been working on getting them to be uh, a little bit friendlier with me too and, and uh, really trying to sort of aggressively get them into uh, snuggling and relaxing. Especially the boy here, Hogwash, is uh, he reminds me a little bit of Tommy in that way, but um, even more of, uh, gosh, DJ had the whole list last night when I mentioned this, this behavior that some cats have had uh, in the past, 
uh, some wonderful kittens have had where they'll let you snuggle with them all you want. Like you can see right here, he's just perfectly willing to let me pick him up and hold him. And he responds really well to scruffing. So maybe not entirely like Tommy, who wasn't so much of a scruffer. Um, but uh, just, you know, he'll let you snuggle him all you want, but he is waiting uh, for his chance to escape too, where he's not going to just sit here and fall asleep necessarily. Uh, he's got his own preferences. Like if, if I've got my lap available to him or especially around my feet, he'll, he'll snuggle up to my feet and fall asleep all day long. And uh, in the bed, he likes to you know, sleep on my legs and stuff. And that's fine. But if I want to hold him like a baby, like I do with most kittens, he's just looking for his chance to escape. And as soon as I stop petting him or if I give him a break or if he thinks I'm not paying attention for a minute, he'll just all of a sudden do like this like jump, like pounce, like a spring and fly out of my arms. And, uh, uh, there's been a whole series of cats that are like that. And I, I can't remember their, their names right now, but it's a common sort of behavior that uh, if I, with enough work, I can get him to kind of uh, get into it a little more. So I'm working on that a little bit with him. Uh, not that that's a critical thing for him to have. He's a wonderful, playful, snuggly kitten, just the way he is. <laughs> As you can see. All right. Now, let's see. I got some kind of a little beep here. So let me just make sure I'm not going to miss anything important. Oh. I see. All right. Cool. Yes. Well, there are important things, but nothing uh, important right this minute. So there we go. Uh, all right. Well, now let's start here. Uh, this first package I picked up is from Hell Dells, and I know I just got the knife out. Here it is. So let's see what we have. Yeah, it says mail bag right on it. How much more perfect could that be? And it is a bag it's full of mail. I mean, it's ideal. Oh, these are so cool. All right. Uh, I don't know why they say these things on them, though. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, so these are those little matchstick toys. Uh, I don't, these are called Perfect Hunt Cat Toys Made with Love and Passion. It's perfecthunt.com. Uh, we're going to find whatever note uh, Hells Dells is included in a second. But uh, these things are so cool because they're little tiny silver vine sticks that have feathers stuck in the end. And they're fun for throwing around. The kittens love them. Uh, it says... Uh, it, uh, it says... Putting big, big yad bluey, uh, big lad, uh, putting big lad whitey, putting big lad bluey. Hmm, wonder if those mean anything to us. Uh, they don't right now. <laughs> uh, here is uh, some sort of a fun little crinkly kitty with a very wavy belly. Uh, that's pretty cool, too. All right, now hang on here. Uh, well, we're going to have to dig through until we find something that resembles a letter. But in the meantime, look at all these interesting, unique little cat toys in this package. Here's a silver vine stick with a paw on the end, and it's got little jingly uh, beads on it, too. It reminds me of one of those, uh, remember the Karate Kid 2, uh, where they had that, that little drum that was the, the like central hook? Uh, ridiculous movie, by the way. Uh, Karate Kid was a classic all time. Everybody should see it. If you've never seen the original Karate Kid movie, it holds up very well, and and everybody should see it. It's a great show. It, it is, you know, it's got a lot of weird cliches in it, um, but uh, we were cool with all that in the '80s, and uh, it's just brilliant. Uh, Karate Kid Two, on the other hand, you can just skip all that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen it, though, <laughs> who could ever forget? Uh, all right. Oh, look at this. This guy seems to match this guy. Uh, this is a floppy rabbit, though. Look at that. And we've got a, a weird little cloud on a string. Uh, it's very pretty, though, because it's got rainbow rain coming out of it. It's, rain, uh, it's a rainbow. Wow. How about that? These kids are going to check out every single thing. All right. I know there's got to be some kind of a letter or something that we're going to find. We're going to come across in here at some point. Maybe a grocery list. Uh, could be anything. You never know with Hell's Dells. Let's see, there's some sort of a big package here. It looks like it's separately wrapped. I can't make out what's in there. Uh, <laughs> this is so, uh, wow, British. Um, it says Pet London, and it's got the little flag on it. And uh, yeah, uh, well, I mean, what else is there to say? There's a few of these in here, because we don't want the kids to forget, uh, I guess. <laughs> oh, there's the note. All right, we found it. All right, cool. It's all in there. It says, hi, Chris, DJ, cats, and kittens. Wow, that is a lot of noise going on. 
The loose toys are all for Kahootie and her gorgeous kids. The blue bag is for the academy and as you see fit, including the faculty. The green bag is more Christmas treats for you and DJ. Love, Helen. Aw, thank you, Hellstells. That is so sweet of you. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Um, here we got some little tiny um, felted balls. Those are always a hit. We have, oh, more of the little silver vine paw sticks. Look at those. Wow. Ah, yeah, you like that? Okay, well, you can play with it now. I don't mind. Here we go. Uh, oh, this mouse, uh, Hells Dells, we had somebody on the chat, I don't know if you managed to respond to this, that was looking for this exact, one of the former alumni went home with one of these, this exact mouse that's like a real fur triangle with a tail, and that's it. Uh, if you know where you got this, um, definitely let the chat know. I'm sorry, I don't remember which of the alumni it was that was asking me after, but they said it was their, fa their cat's favorite toy in the whole world was this thing, and maybe it was getting worn out or something, they just wanted to know where to get some more. Uh, one of the more recent alumni, uh, and I said it was probably from uh, a kit that it's, if you sent it, it's definitely not from. So, um, yeah, this probably just fell out, too. This looks like one of those little fur balls that you've sent in the past that are, in fact, uh, a huge hit. I just saw this morning uh, one of the kittens running around with one of the pastel-colored ones, um, so also a big, big hit. Uh, and we've got more real fur, too. We've got this uh, little thing with a string on it. Ooh, oh, that noise. Well, DJ loves that thing. I don't know if you can hear it. It's got one of those, you remember those shakers that, that that's just a, it's like a cylinder and you shake it and it blows the, the, pushes the air through. It's got a little heavy piston in it that when you shake it, it does this. And then it's got a little whistle on one end. Uh, you can feel that in there. That's what it is. It's one of those little cylinders with the piston in it. Uh, I don't know if there's a name for those at all, but very cool. When I had them, they, would, they had ones that made like farm animal sounds and stuff. Uh, you don't see those very often anymore. Oh, look, here's another one of these. All right, cool. Well, maybe if I can figure out who it is, I can just send the alumni one of them. But these are really for Kahooties endowments, aren't they? And for her family. Oh, you like that. All right. And maybe some for Oshi, although, like I've mentioned, Oshi has taken a long flight. And we're going to have to ship all of her toys anyway. So uh, her endowments are already extreme because she's been here for so long and accumulated so much. Got a second one of these right here. Uh, so, yeah, I've been trying to sort of minimize what goes into her uh, continued endowment. Um, but, uh, wow, so thank you. Yeah, and again, if you know where these, these triangle-shaped ones came from, they, I know this was a specific request uh, just to let somebody know. And if you don't, that's fine. I don't know where most of the stuff I have comes from anymore either. I like this recycled Amazon gift bag. That is the best way to recycle anything. And inside you said it was going to contain Christmas stuff. And, wow, is it ever packed in there. We got, uh, let's see here. Ooh, we got a uh, reindeer, uh, like a uh, toy with the corduroy on it. I love corduroy, it's a great feeling. We got a mouse that's in a, oh, he's in a mug. And uh, it's cute because he can pop out too. He's got his little feet pointed out, but look, you can take the mouse out of the mug, you can put the mouse in the mug. And the mouse and the mouse has a belly with a jingly in it. Uh, that's super cute too, but the mug's really adorable. And I can imagine different ways to put him together too. That's a, uh, that's so fun. That's a, that's a Cupid and Comet, mouse and a teacup. That is way too cute. All right, I'm trying to keep this stuff all separate since it came separate. We've got these plastic springs that I don't know which these came out of now. I'm going to pretend they came out of the Christmas stuff, even though they don't seem especially Christmassy in any way. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll just change my mind on that. Oh, this is so cool. This is another one of those really specially uh, designed celebrity cat toys. It's Freak Me Out, I guess, is the brand. That's a freak like you would spell it, M-E-O-W-T dot co dot U-K. Freakmeout dot co dot U-K. Or also not on the high street dot com slash freak me out. That's cute. Uh, this one is uh, Harry Potter. and would previously got Prince uh, somewhere and uh, um, uh, uh, David Bowie somewhere. So uh, Harry Potter doesn't quite fit the rest of the theme, but look at how cool that is. It's, um, it's just a simple little toy made with almost a, a muslin, and then uh, it's embroidered, though, to make the glasses and the little scar, and he's got his, his uh, uh, class scarf on, too. That's so cute. DJ's going to love that. And then we have a corduroy ginger red man to match the, uh, the reindeer that we got. So those are cute little Christmas things. I'll bring those all up to DJ. Maybe she can throw them around the bedroom for the cats when they go up there. That would be fun uh, since we've got that Christmas tree in the bedroom that's frequently on the stream in the evenings. 
uh, when the kittens are up there playing. And uh, it's it, we're trying to find ways to get them to go over there and play instead of hanging out on the bed with us all night. Um, and uh, this will be a, a nice way to do that, I think. Maybe, maybe not. So then, Hells, you sent one last thing. Uh, this wonderful green, you said treats. I'm really concerned about that. I've had too many treats, and uh, my weight is now at a point where I have to be careful. Uh, but let's see, nonetheless. Oh, another recycled Amazon gift bag. Awesome. Perfect. I really do like that. These are such nice bags, too. They deserve to be reused, don't they? All right, let's see what we got. Oh, another note in here, too. Is this a note for everybody? I think it is. I think someone has sent a Christmas coconut before. It's funny if you don't know the whole story behind that. You know what? I'm not going to go into it right now. Uh, I think someone sent a Christmas coconut before, but in case they haven't, they do uh, haven't. They do need heating up instructions on the box. Well, that's not what I pulled out, though. Hang on a second. <laughs> that's a wow. Okay, uh, hang on though. Um, oh, look at that! It's a nine-month matured luxury Christmas pudding. Wow, nine months. That is that's been a, that's a maternity right there. This thing's ready for delivery. Uh, so nine month matured luxury Christmas pudding. Wow. Uh, we also have six mince pies, which I talked about. Uh, somebody sent something that was a mince pie flavored thing, or I, you know, I already forgot what it was. Um, I know it's in the cabinet. Um, but these are six mince pies made with short crust pastry and spiced mince meat. Wow. And I don't know what I was confused about. I think maybe I was confused with like with head cheese or something, but I understand now that there is nothing in uh, mince meat that is meat. Uh, and there's, um, uh, nothing in head cheese that's cheese. So uh, that's probably why I was confused about all of it. So uh, anyway, this is going to be cool to try. I'm, I'm very excited about it. And then we have a, a candy that they definitely do not sell in the United States. I'll let everybody figure out for themselves uh, what I'm talking about. But it says Cadbury Puds, and it's a chocolate with truffles and hazelnut and rice crisp, and it sounds amazing. Oh, I just said, uh, somebody said those ice cubes that we opened yesterday that turned out to be hazelnut candy, and I've already eaten like a handful of them, which is part of my problem. Uh, hazelnut and chocolate is so good. And by the way, those ice cubes, they just melt in your mouth with that hazelnut in there. It's so good. Uh, these are going to be fantastic. Little Cadbury Puds uh, with mince pies and a Christmas coconut. Uh, I'm actually super excited about all those things. Definitely worth uh, ignoring the diet a little bit longer for. Uh, so you say... Uh, the use-by date is 2021, no, 2021 plus, 2024. Oh, I see. That's not a one plus. That's a four. Phew, that makes so much more sense. Uh, I was very confused. The use-by date is 2024, so no rush to uh, to have it. That's interesting because it does say nine month matured, but uh, by 2024, it's going to be nine months and uh, then quite a bit. You can probably keep the minced meat pies longer or freeze them individually um, and custard Cream or ice cream goes well with everything. Well, you don't have to tell me that. Uh, custard, cream, or ice cream goes well with everything. Yes, enjoy. Thank you, Health Dells. Now, that is very, very sweet of you. Uh, literally sweet of you. All right. Uh, so that is, I think, everything from there. And this is all for endowment. And I had an endowment box going yesterday. Um, let me... Well, let me just push all of this off to the side for a minute. And if these guys want to steal a couple of these things, I don't think either of us will mind too much, will we? Probably not. Uh, oh, did we see what this was? We got a green tea bag. That's so so cute. Uh, that's that's actually pretty adorable. All right, you know, green tea is DJ's go-to beverage. Although she's she's uh, I've mentioned like my dad would uh, my dad drank black uh, iced tea his whole life. That was his, his beverage of choice every single day, day in, day out. Uh, but for him, it was always Lipton instant tea, uh, Lipton instant iced tea, uh, like the powdered stuff that you just mix into water, which is uh, sad. It really isn't. It? Uh, so uh, DJ's green tea habit, she won't drink any like fancy, wonderful green tea. Uh, she just does the Bigelow uh, classic green tea. And that is, that's it. Cause that's the thing, you know, it's uh, it's interesting that way. So it's not so much that she likes green tea as a general thing, but that she likes that specific, like that's her beverage. Uh, I don't know why I brought all that up. I guess just because it's a green tea bag and it makes me think of that. Uh, so it's cute how something like that can just make you think of your dad. Um, it's uh, Anyway, all right, let's go. Uh, let me, uh, no, I'm just going to push it aside over this. Okay, this came straight to the Academy, actually, this week. 
So it was probably something I was supposed to open a few days ago and didn't. Uh, but I saw it sitting there this morning and I realized, oh, we should open this during mailbag. So this came straight to the Academy, not uh, through the usual method. And it says it is for Cahoots. And inside there is a note, dear Cahoots, this bowl makes me eat slower, which I do not like, but girl, you need to slow down. Uh, you can try to flip it over, but you will not be able to. It's heavy. Love, Rumor. Aw, thank you, Rumor. Um, let's see here. So she does need to slow down, and that has been an ongoing issue, uh, which we haven't uh, fully figured out. But I, I have managed to slow her down a little bit. Uh, what I do is for her, her dry food, I just throw it all over the room. It, she's a hoover, though. That does not slow her down very much. Um, and then for the wet food, I've discovered if I take something that's like a plate or like one of those steel, uh, you know, things that we use and I mash the food into the plate. So it's just flat and spread out or especially in the corners, you know, like the cats usually don't eat, uh, that slows her down because she's got to work it all out of there. Um, and she does, I mean, it slows her down, but she still eats too much as well. So we have to not only slow her down, but we also have to limit her food. Uh, we can't, we, I don't want her, if you give her too much food, she'll just eat too much food until it's all gone. Um, but she still also does get wild about trying to uh, get into it, just, just hyper crazy. And I know she'll slow down over time. Uh, we've had plenty of kittens that have been that way. Um, you know, maybe not so many with the older cats, but um uh, we've had plenty of kittens that have been that way, and they do, they get over it once they, they learn that they don't need to be that way. Oh, wow. Portion Control Tiger Diner Food Dish, uh, and it is a beautiful, this is a lovely ceramic food dish, and look at that. Wow, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, it almost looks like something the, uh, the pod people from the Dark Crystal would live in, and that's, a, that's quite a reference. Wow, I don't know where I pulled that out from. Another 80s movie, though, so I guess that's the, the framework today. Um, portion control tiger diner food dish by pioneer pet. And, uh, if you can see it is, it's a beautiful, lovely ceramic dish. It's one piece that doesn't come apart. So it's going to be a little tricky to clean in there. going to have to get out my old bottle brush probably. Um, or I bet a dishwasher is just fine too, being ceramic, uh, as it is. So, um, uh, one piece and you can see at the top, it's got this bowl here with a, like a big hole in the middle, like a funnel. And then on the sides, it's got all these holes to reach your paws in through. And it's interesting uh, trying to imagine um, uh, wet food or dry food in this. I can see uh, food is loaded into the funnel. Limited portions fall into the base only as fast as cats can retrieve it, making them eat slower. So it looks like the holes, I mean, it's way too big for most dry food, although the picture does show dry food going into it. Um, uh, it seems like that would just pour right through until there was way too much there. Uh, but then um, I could imagine dumping a bunch of wet food in there, though, and having her, well, I don't know. But it's going to be fun to, to experiment with it, I think. I'm, I'm excited to try it out and see how it works out for her. The, the trick being, of course, that it, it, needs to not, it needs to be limited amounts as well as limited speed. Um, and that's... Uh, uh, an interesting proposition. I, this is such a lovely bowl, though. My goodness, it's beautiful. I, I want to see cats eat out of it just in general. So uh, that's that's uh, that's going to be great for all. I'm, I'm excited to try it out. Thank you to Rumor who sent that. Um, not entirely sure if that's our Rumor or another Rumor. Uh, I, I know, though, it was mentioned on the chat, so I just have to check that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, just the way I am and uh, nothing I can do about it. Uh, believe me, I've tried. So, all right, uh, now let's grab some more things. This we're not done yet. Um, let's see. Hi, you two. We got faculty over here gardening the pile. My goodness, you guys. Okay. Well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open the big one, and then maybe we can use this box for something, or maybe not. Here we go. Also, we do have the endowments box from yesterday, but it looks a little small to fit what's already in it, plus all this stuff. Oh, but it's not all endowments. I packed some stuff up here that isn't, so maybe we can take those things out and put them over here. And uh, maybe once we take this packing material out and let the kittens play with it, maybe we can make this fit for Kahootie and crew. Let's find out. 
If they already stole anything, uh, so be it. They just opened their presents, their Christmas presents early. Oh, I didn't realize this one was a little different. This one's got like a, a package that's exploding. Hmm. Uh, all right. Hi. Yes, well, this is the most fun toy in the whole pile, isn't it? Yeah, I bet it is. Little flim flam. Little tiny flim flam. Okay, so uh, this is a giant package with these beautiful little cat stickers all over it. Let's see what's inside. Wow, such a big one. Oh, okay, we got a card right on top that says Merry Christmas, and it's got little stamps on it, and uh, ooh, a piece of tissue paper. Now look at that. Oh, I tore it already. All right, well, that's fine. That's what the kittens are going to do anyway. Flim Flam, how about this? This is more more cool. Come on now, that's exciting. That's fun. Uh, these are cute Christmas seals. All right. Oh, we've got a cute little kitten with wearing a Christmas hat and resting his head on a Christmas tree ornament. And inside, it's uh, to Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's with extra love all around. Uh, with love, Margie. Margie, thank you so much. I love the little stickers you put in. They're just so sparkly, especially the little sparkly cardinals. We got little cardinals up here on top. Super pretty. I love cardinals. A Christmas tree and a poinsettia and uh, Santa Claus and his reindeer. So many sparkles. All right. You've also got a note. Oh, more sparkly stickers. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, hello. Hello all, I hope everyone is well. I've been busy. I have lots of my homemade blankets, donuts, toys, bowls, toys, and tissue papers. Oh my goodness, I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. Take care with love, Margie. Margie, uh, thank you so much. My goodness, you do have, and I recognize these now. We have the, uh, the donut toys. Oh. Uh, yes, I, uh, no, I, I did, I turned, put the, I said, I don't know why this question came up. Did Mr. A put the open side of the dish box at the bottom? I did. I usually flip open, flip over open packages when I can, uh, so that the cats don't pull the flaps up and get in there. I don't know why I just did it with that one, because they're probably not going to pull that bowl out, but I, you'll see me do that fairly often. Um, not a hundred percent of the time, but, uh, but fairly often. Um, so yeah, anyway, these are these wonderful donut toys that uh, we love to put in each of the endowments and they, this is uh, enough to keep us going for quite a few kitten, oh, quite a few kitten classes, although when we've gotten them before, I think they've only had the one braid on them and these are double braided, so they're twice as good. Uh, those are fun toys. We've had a, some kittens run around with them and of course we've, oh, here's one with just one braid, cool, so we've got a variety. Um, you also you might recognize these from some uh, pictures that I've taken that have been uh, popular for a long time of them wearing some of these as a hat. And now we've got ones that can have a hat with a braid on either side. <laughs> You're being too cute. Oh, that's too cute. Wow. And, you know, being balanced like that actually makes it a little easier to, to wear as a hat, doesn't it? Okay. That's a fun one. These kids will play with anything right now, though. So let's give them the tissue paper. We'll save some of these for uh, a little bit later on. These are wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Plus, we have the catnip pillow toys, another familiar item. I see some extra toys made it in here. We got hot sauce and a taco. That's delicious. Uh, hot sauce and taco. Okay, cool. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Plus, uh, these wonderful catnip pillows that are they're very cute. Each one different. Also, a great thing for us to add to the endowments. And just handmade with such love. Ooh, soft too. Some of these have some soft bits in them. Very nice. Margie, that's super sweet. Uh, I think we either did just run out or definitely running low on uh, previous ones. So that's fantastic. All this tissue paper is going to be uh, great for me to just put, I'm going to put it into like their tunnel or something when we're done over here. So for now, I'm just going to throw it around and I'll gather it all up and put it into something for them to play with. Oh, actually, we've already got them playing on some packing material behind me. Here we have, ooh, a very large Mylar ball with some extra little mesh in it. There we go. Just like that. Uh, yeah, another 80s nostalgia. Just, uh, I must be in that mode because this makes me, the, the mesh and the sparkly together, I don't know, it seems very um, Cindy Lauper, doesn't it? 
Uh, all right, uh, we've got the uh, cat toy that's one of these uh, metal uh, springs with a mouse in the middle. There's one of those that have been kicking around here for days, a blue one somewhere. I don't know where it is, but we know it's a good toy. Oh, which is why we've got two more of them right here. Thank you so much for that. And some more tissue to add to the growing pile. Uh, we've got a second Cindy Lopper ball. There we go. We've got a, ooh, a donut. Uh, we've seen a couple of these before too, but it's been a while. A donut ball track. Um, we've got these wonderful plastic dishes that have words on them. Love, cuddle, snooze, lick. Very cute. Drinky, jump. All right, with a paw print in the middle. And some smaller food dishes. One, two, three, four of them in two different styles. Uh, one says, you've got to be kitten, with a bunch of kittens around it, super cute. And one's got little fish bones on it, and a very cool cat in the middle that says, meow. Right, put those together. Uh, there's so much more in this box. Oh, now we've got the matched sets of blankets with donut toys. So each of these has a donut toy safety pen to it. Beautiful, soft blankets. Look at that. And so soft. Wow. Um with this uh, chenille, right, is the name of that uh, sort of um, wool, uh, uh, yarn. Yarn's the word I'm looking for. Uh, that's so fuzzy. Oh, my goodness. So some great pastels in there. And there's a whole bunch of these. They each come with their own little donut matching toy. Uh, beautiful colors. Oh, I like the, the mixed uh, materials here. because We've got some that are chenille, and then we've got this little bit in here that's not, and that really uh, sets it off in an interesting way. Super artistic. I love that. You've done that again here. That is uh, it's very artistic. Also in the border, we've got a little bit of it to tie it all together. No pun intended. Beautiful colors. Wow. Oh, look at that. All right. Wow. A whole bunch of these, though. Uh, hang on, we'll get the rest out in a second. First, we've got some unused tissue paper. Oh, with rainbows on it. That's so pretty. And some Christmas tissues, too. Those will definitely go to good use. Um, for now, I'm going to set those over here because I don't know where to put them yet. Now, the rest of this is all, oh, wow, you have been busy. Oh, this is going to be so great for quite a while for endowments. Oh, the kittens are going to love it. The adopters are going to love it. Uh, look at all these colors. I love this sea foam and the, the sort of the cerulean blues that you've got going on here. We've got these pinks and grays. That goes really well together. Uh, and again, I see you've offset it with some that's the chenille and some that I'm using that word even if it's not the right one. So I'm just going to stick with it, all right? Um, this is beautiful, too. Look at that with the, the sort of green and blue pastels in with the white. Um, We've got a couple more still. This is very, like, a, reminds me of like a southwestern sort of a desert color with these rich iron reds. And then we've got this uh, pink uh, with a little bit of this, um, I don't know uh, what, what word I'm looking for, like a coral color here. And then this, this ari gray, a stripe of ari gray in it, and a little bit of blue there to set it off. Wonderful. Look at that giant stack of blankets. Oh, man, that's fantastic. So we're going to put all those right back in there because that makes a great place to keep those. And we can put these right in here, too. And use all of that for future general purpose endowments. Um, excuse me. We can put these in here, too, and we can just use the whole box for general purpose endowments for now. We'll even include the donut. Oh, and uh, this is going downstairs. I don't have to sort that out yet, so we'll just get a minute. This could go over here. Now, we're not done yet. I just brought this box over, but there's more. There's still some more, so hang on one second here. I'll get up and get what's next. These kids are loving that tissue paper. Oh, we put all the Pogo Sneaks over there. That would be a fun thing to do. Let it one in. Uh, maybe it might be a little hard to see what we're doing. Oh. What if we put it in this uh, The Cat Ball? I think this is an official The Cat Ball, the Christmas style. It's so pretty. These are so fun. Uh, that famous gift, of course, of Custard upending uh, himself in one when he was much younger and spry. Uh, it's super fun. Let's put all this in here and see how long it takes him to tear it all out. There. How's that for fun, kiddos? Try that. We'll put it. Oh, okay. Well, you tore a piece out already. Yep. I'm going to take this, though, even though I know this is really fun and crinkly, I'm going to take it so we can try those things out first, okay? 
Now they're like, I don't know what you want me to do. Custer, are you going to go for a repeat party? You're going to throw yourself in there? Come on, do it, do it, do it. And then next we can go throw yourself into the dishwasher. What do you think, huh? You want to throw yourself in the cat ball? You are a cat ball these days, buddy. Yes, definitely. You become what you hate the most, don't you? <laughs> Such a big old cat ball. All right, uh, let's see what we got next. So uh, this is addressed to Eddie, DJ, uh, and Mr. A, which I, we had a package yesterday. And of course, my brain doesn't work so well. I just remember the fact that we had a package yesterday that we opened that was addressed in the exact same fashion. I thought this might be from the same person. Well, it's almost entirely air. Uh, air and a strange pink disc. What can it mean? Hmm. Well, it's exactly what it is. It is a, uh, well, it says it's a two pack of pale pink pot holders. Uh, and I don't know. Well, uh, I think we're going to need some hints on this one, but there's not a note. Uh, there's no note. So, uh, whatever it's all about. Now I could see some, some potential uses for this, of course. Uh, but I'd sure like to know who sent it, uh, what they had in mind. My guess would be this is a good thing to smear some food on for Kahootie uh, to slow her down a bit. That would be one thing that would be good for. Another thing, of course, is kind of its intended use. Uh, this is, I've discovered um, someone sent us those wonderful metal plates, the, the ones that are supposed to uh, reduce whisker fatigue. Uh, we use them constantly. That uh, I mentioned when we got them that they were the kind of thing that was just bulletproof and gonna last forever um they're, they're like these shallow metal dishes i love them and each one came with its own little round silicone silicone pad uh which we use for all kinds of things not just for putting those dishes onto um, but for holding stuff uh, we've used them for holding cameras in place and stuff because they kind of stick up just a, just enough to, to hold something uh, and then you put something on top of it and it stays put um, so uh, these can also be useful for that, where you could put it under a food dish and then uh, Kahootie pushes her food dish all around the room, the, the metal ones now, uh, you could just put one on top of this and it would keep it right there so she wouldn't push it around quite so much. Uh, so all kinds of potential uh, purposes to put one of these things to. Uh, also, I'll tell you a secret since I'm thinking of it, is uh, if you have silicone, ma silicone mats of any kind, um, this, this sort of flat thing, uh, we've got some that are just sort of regular potholder size, you know, square things with the little bumps on them uh, that are potholders. <clears throat> if you need to open garlic cloves really easy, if you just break the garlic cloves and you put them in there, uh, put the garlic in there, and then you just roll it like this with your hands just a couple times, takes the skin right off. I'm telling you, it's the fastest, easiest way to get the skin off of garlic. Way easier, safer, and faster than like smashing it with a knife, and plus it doesn't get smashed. Um, not that I'm going to use this for that. These are a little big, uh, but you could. Uh, just a cooking tip for me there. Uh, the one I got. Okay, uh, we'll find out what that's all about uh, in due time, I'm quite certain. For now, I, I don't know where to set it. Uh, and next up, finally, uh, we have, this is the last package, yes. Uh, this is from Neko-chan. Uh, Neko-chan. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's see how best to open this package. Uh, it's an interesting one. Oh, it's a very interesting one. Okay, I think we're gonna have to take all the paper off to see how to get it open right. Yes, that's what I thought. All right, now we gotta do this. I'm not showing you guys anything there. No, okay, it's a very plain white box. Interesting. The mystery continues. Let's see what could possibly be in such a plain white box. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. It says Merry Christmas, K.A. And what wonderful handwriting Neko Chan has. Wow, beautiful card. It is a painting of a, uh, a big fat cat standing in a window 
the from out we're looking into the house from outside in the picture there's uh, the cat's looking at a little sparrow who's on a branch of a tree there's snow everywhere it's snowing out and then we're looking in at the cat with a christmas tree and a fireplace and stockings a beautiful house what a wonderful painting and uh the card on the inside says, Merry Christmas, wishing you and your loved ones peace, peace, <laughs> nope, not peace. All right, uh, wishing you and your loved ones peace, health, and happiness now and in the new year. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, and the kitty uh, clan at KA, sending you lots of love this Christmas season from Anna and Milo. That's uh, Anna, who's ne Neko Chan on Discord. I don't know if the gift I said will work, but it was too cute to pass up. Well, let's see what could possibly be too cute to maybe work and maybe not work. Uh, first off, we have what looks like an advent calendar of, uh, it says, mischievous Christmas cats. Uh, interesting. So it uh, it is like uh, an advent calendar of mischievous cats uh, with each uh, little, it's very so flat though, it must open to pictures of little tiny cats, which is even cuter. I don't know, I'm excited to check it out. Uh, so speaking of which, DJ is very excited for the advent calendar from uh, yesterday too, and I put it up in the bedroom so we wouldn't forget about it, which tends to be sort of a problem, you know, if you put it where you're not looking at it. Uh, so that's going to be fun. It's so sparkly too, and it's covered already with with mischievous cats, uh, but there's something more in here, a, an amazingly wrapped package. Look at that. I almost want to put it under the Christmas tree and wait until Christmas to open it because it's so beautiful. Um, I would I would do that, in fact, but I'm not going to, uh, just because I'm sure you all want to know what's in it as much as I do. We have no patience, uh, but what an amazing job of wrapping this up in this cute little red and white red. Uh, which I was going to try to nicely untie, but I think I might have to give up and just cut it. Can you see this that's going on right here? You just put yourself into that. I mean, literally into it. You put your head right in the middle of it. it was wearing like a collar for a second. There we go. Once again. <laughs> what is with that? Which kitten are you? You're the boy. Of course you are. Little hoggy. Hog wild. All right, okay, I'm gonna give up now. Uh, I tried. Um, this is too finely wrapped. All right, we can still cut it on this end, and then uh, at least it'll be, okay. There we go, well, that's beautiful. I know you kids are gonna to wanna to play with this. You can't just have it, okay? You can play with it for a minute, supervised. But you can't just take it away. All right. This is beautifully done. Ooh. Oh, oh, hey, this is so cool. Well, I'll tell you what, it works for me. This is going to be fun. This is a cat bods box. It's a pod, basically. So as a pod, you know it's going to work. The kittens are definitely going to get in here. Uh, but this one is, a, uh, oh, it's, I guess it's different themes. Uh, it looks like, at least here on the front, uh, what we've got is a, an astronaut, and the cat will get into it. And as you look at his face here in the hole, you can take a photo of him being an astronaut, which is super cute. But it looks like maybe the different sides have completely different themes. Uh, the pictures here on the back are an astronaut, a bodybuilder, uh, an Egyptian mummy. Um, uh, mummy? Would it be a mummy? Or a, what do you call the, the uh, sarcophagus? Oh, yes. Okay, there we go. And uh, finally, uh, what is that last one? Oh, a chef. Uh, yeah, a little chef. A little baby chef, in fact. You might be able to see those here at the bottom. We have the astronaut, bodybuilder sarcophagus and a little baby chef uh he's got little tiny hands holding a little tiny ladle and in front of him are what i think is food uh, i bet it will work and even if it doesn't work in the sense of getting photos it is absolutely going to work in the sense of being a pod that the cats are going to want to get into and play with so that's going to be super fun thank you so so much for sending this uh that's going to be really cool Hi. Oh, even Custard wants to play with the string. All right. Well, you know what does work. <laughs> your, your packing material is always the big hit. Aw. I wish I could have gotten that picture of him just now. Where's my phone? All right, right here. Let me see if I can get him to do it again because he was making a real snaggle tooth there trying to hang on to that thing. What do you got there, bud? Hey. Aw. 
Well, that's basically it for Mailbag. I want to say thanks again to everybody. Uh, I know it took us two days to get through. It probably didn't have to. It seems like today went pretty quick, but uh, you know, we had to make sure that we had the time yesterday to get Ocean to her vet appointment where she turned out to be perfectly healthy. Buddy, this is too silly. I don't think I'm getting any good photos, but uh, super adorable. Well, as usual, I'm going to take a minute to get everything here packed up and put away. I bet the fact that this is a braided red and white makes it more appealing than a regular string. Um, you know, it's got that, like the ants marching kind of a appeal to it. That's what they call that um, when you have uh, on, on computer programs like Photoshop, where you have the, the little border that has dashed lines that move. Uh, they call it marching ants, actually. And this, this has that same sort of, because it catches your eye. That's the whole point of doing that, is to have it catch your eye. And this is the same kind of deal. It seems like it really does work. I mean, cats like strings. But this seems like a string that cats like even more than usual. <laughs> All right, you two. Okay, well, uh, we'll keep it in my pocket, and then we can play with them a little more. Maybe I can put it on a stick, and they can have it as a toy. But not unsupervised. No unsupervised strings, kids. That's a rule. All right, so right here in my pocket. There we go. Okay, uh, Nekochan, thank you. Thank everybody else. You've all sent wonderful things that are going to be so great for these kittens. Um, I, I appreciate that so much. Uh, I, I, just, I don't even know what to say that I haven't already said a million times. Just just how great it is that everybody can participate in in making sure these kittens have the greatest lives. You know, it's a, it's so. These kittens do so much better with all of you helping than they could even uh, even with all the care that we want to give them, you know, with, with us alone. Uh, we just couldn't compete. So uh, I have to say how much I appreciate all of that from everyone. Um, it, it really means a lot to me. So, all right. Well, let me get the, this stuff put up, and then after that, we'll end the archive. And then after that, um, I don't know what I'm doing with the rest of the day, but I'm sure it's going to be important. Uh, we do have groceries coming, I hope, which is one of the things I was messaged about earlier, and I got to keep an eye out to make sure that uh, they don't message me to be like, we're all out of X, will you take Y instead? And they do something like bring me pickles instead of eggs because they, I don't know, there's some AI that says that that's a good substitution. Uh, all right. <clears throat> this is how you know computers aren't ready to take over yet. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see, this is stuff that's going to the basement, uh, so we can put these in and I can carry it all down together. I think the card goes to, oh, it's such a pretty Christmas card. Oh. Oh my goodness, I need to get right. I forgot that I was stepping on that. Whew. All right, that sound is my heart exploding. Uh, let's see, okay, Christmas stuff. We're going to leave that stuff out for now. Uh, and the Christmas card, I think we should put up on the cardboard for Christmas time. This can go downstairs, though. Birthday cards, too sweet. Okay. Good. Oh, this can also go downstairs for the moment. We've got a lot of separating stuff out to do down there, and I'll have to do it this week before uh, before Ocean goes home. That's going to be a lot of work at some point. Kids, why don't you play with something more appropriate than the plastic, okay? I'm sure you can find something that's every bit as fun. You're just going to sleep on it? So I guess it's an air mattress, isn't it? It's a, it's a little tiny air mattress for kittens. That's cute. Also, it's not going to stay, but it's cute.
We're going to leave this down here in the drawer, especially for you, Ari. Especially for you, the most neglected of all the KA cats. I know. That's not true. Either. We just like to tease him. Good job, buddy. Okay, I gotta put this up though. We'll play with it later. This is that bowl. These are the other bowls. Okay, some of these bowls can go down for the gallons. There we go. This bowl has to get labeled. And the silicone pads have to be solved. We need a solution. going to play in this thing? Is that it? Oh, look, I can put your note back with the bowl. That's perfect. I can't take the box if you're just going to play in it. It's silly, though. Can't we get you a better box to play in? I guess that one's fine. Look how pretty you are. I guess i got to leave this out for a minute, too. I don't want to leave it out too long, though. I don't want Logan to find it and do something terrible. Not that he would. He's been very good lately. Just never know when he's going to start it up again. I'm going to take this away and then I'll come back. Your shoulder so slumped. Look at this beautiful bowl someone sent us loaded out of the roof. You get to look at it, yeah. So all these kids' favorite thing that came in mailbag is a box. <laughs> okay, let's put, at least put the box out here where it's easier for everybody to see you having all this fun with it. Uh, she just ate, so not as much as we get that now, but I'm going to try to see if she eats it. Okay.
this on the mailbag archives uh, when this is when this micro ends so will the mailbag archives so thanks again to everybody for the mailbag everything that you sent uh, and uh, Sunday's you know follow-up mailbag thanks for that <clears throat> hi buddy oh run away where'd your little mylar ball go that was making that so fun oh it's still right there okay This is like bathtub ball junior league right here, isn't it? Mayhem's ready to start some trouble. Bamboo, what are you doing? What are you doing, Bamboo? These kids are definitely in full play mode for the moment, and I'm sure they'll be fast asleep in about 15 minutes. close up and that's going to end the mailbag archive so uh, that's it